a British embassy official said Ambassador Kim Derock was in Congress on Wednesday with his French, German and EU counterparts meeting with both Democrats and Republicans to provide information on the European position on the JCPOA, using an acronym for the nuclear agreement. An EU embassy spokesman confirmed that EU Ambassador David O'Sullivan and others would attend, to explain that the deal is a multilateral agreement that is working and that the European Union will do everything it can to ensure it stays in place. Trump has long criticized the nuclear pact, a signature foreign policy achievement of his predecessor Obama, and signed in 2015 by the United States, Britain, France, Germany, Russia, China, the European Union, and Iran. A senior administration official said the administration was considering October 12 for Trump to give a speech on Iran but no final decisions have been made. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis said the United States should consider staying in the deal unless it were proven that Tehran was not abiding by the agreement. Mattis said Iran was fundamentally in compliance with the agreement. Earlier on Wednesday, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said Trump would be presented with multiple options regarding the future of the nuclear pact. Under the deal, Iran agreed to curb its nuclear program in exchange for the suspension of international sanctions that were choking its economy. If Trump declines to certify, it could pave the way for Congress to vote to resume those sanctions, killing the deal. Some Republicans argue that Trump can decertify because he does not believe the agreement is in the national security interest. That, they said, would increase pressure on Tehran because Congress could threaten to reimpose sanctions if Iran does not agree to a more restrictive deal. Iran has said it may abandon the nuclear deal it reached with the major world powers if the United States decides to withdraw from it.